Hello, everybody. This is a Lamley Showcase, a special weekend showcase. I've been hyping this video for a long time, happy to finally be doing it. I am going to present to you the top five best Hot Wheels basics of all time. Now, all time's going to be debated. We're going to debate everything. You're going to debate every one of my choices, You're, and you should. I want to know your top five. We'll talk about that in a little bit. There's two ways to do it, and we're going to make this kind of an event. Now, I'm showing you the, the brand new 89 Mercedes-Benz 560 SEC AMG for a reason. This is the model that, that prompted this video, because when I saw this, when Hot Wheels snuck this one and sent me a sneak peek to show you, I said, this is one of the best basics I have ever seen. What a cool choice. What a cool execution. It is darn near perfect. I don't have any complaints about this thing. And I was like, this is better than a lot of the premiums. This is just one of the best models I have ever seen. And it is an instant top five. And then I said to myself, well, what would be my top five? And I started going back and forth, debating this way and that way and everything, every which way. I knew this one would be in here, but this is what we're going to do. This is the model that prompted it, but we're going to move it off to the side. I'm going to make it number six for today. It's going to be in my top five, but I picked five models that I thought would be the best of all time. Let me give you some of the criteria that I thought about. A, it has to be basic. Basically a $1 model historically. And that means in the basic range, the main line, but it could also mean five packs. It could also mean store exclusives. It could also mean like Xamax. Um, but it just had to be a mainline basic style model. They could have come from premium. They could have gone to premium. Um, they could have been super treasure hunts, did not consider super treasure hunts in this. And I also considered only licensed cars. The other thing about this, that's going to be uh, debatable and I'll talk about it in a second, but I'm going to start showing you, um, as we talk about the criteria, well, I'm going to say this. Let me show you the Mercedes Benz. I already showed you that model. But the other two models that kind of prompted this that were just released, actually three, were the Porsche Carrera RS, which I thought was a fantastic model, and this one, the Audi 90, which is an, also a fantastic model. The, other, the third one was this one that's not even out yet, so it's not, it doesn't qualify at all, which is the um, Alfa Romeo GTV6. Uh, these three models were so cool, and I'm very excited about them, and there's been a lot of excitement about them, but they hit a little bit differently than this one. This one hit differently like truly differently, just in terms of execution, model choice, casting, the color, the wheels, everything. And it took it above and beyond. So while these models might be in your top five, I'm wanting to show you that they're, that I'm not even considering them for this one because as much as I love them, it's the way that these basics that I've been considering, it's the way that they hit in general, just something different. They could have been new models, they could have been recolors, new paint, whatever. Um, but there was something about these models when they hit the pegs that just was different. And this Mercedes-Benz follows that. So I picked out five, but I want to show you the models that I considered first. I'm just going to walk through them, create a little car show with my Dream Customs JCCS mat here, just walking through all of these different models. And as you see them, just understand, while they didn't qualify for my, they didn't make the top five, these are some of my favorites, but I'm not even, there's some of my models that are actually favorites of mine that I still don't think totally made it to this list and could, couldn't hit this, what, what I considered for the top five, because it had to be A, the casting. How was the casting? Is it a great casting, a casting that we like, that collectors like, that I like? Is it a choice? Is it a representative of a car that I like? Um, you know, like, or that was generally popular. I'm actually, I'm trying to, I was trying to spread out beyond just the things that I like, although you'll see there's a lot of JDM and things. Um, just was there something about the paint, the wheels? So I am, I am considering, while these might be castings I like or don't like or whatever, you might like, this is not just a casting choice. This is the actual release. So it's not only casting, car, um, model choice, paint color, deco, you name it. These were all of the things that I considered in choosing my top five. This Batmobile is a great example. Um, licensed models, I consider the Batmobile a licensed model. The Batmobile is not my favorite. In fact, I kind of show how there's too many Batmobiles out there, but the TV series was a cool casting, very well done casting. And this Zamac with Ghost Flames 
I could not get enough of. I just thought it was just such a wonderfully executed model. So execution is the key here. How was the model executed in casting, paint, color, deco, wheels, everything that made these particular releases stand out above all others? These are all the models that I considered. Now, one thing that people will notice, it goes back, I think the oldest model is about 2005, 2006. Yeah, Hot Wheels re existed a whole lot longer before that, since 1969. I'm only going on the models I've collected. And to be perfectly honest, I'm going to give you my hot take here. I don't think there's any model from those period, as much as we get nostalgic and love those models, and they actually are big, you know, of important history with Hot Wheels. I think this modern era, basically 2005 on when I started collecting, maybe you could even say 2010, the models are just better executed. There's more technology, there's better materials, there's just more to work with. That does, and that is in no way to take away from the classic Hot Wheels and the classic designers like Larry Wood. I love everything that they've done. I love that era. I don't collect that era, but I obviously have a true appreciation for those. But I just think the best stuff has come lately. There's just... There's a variety of cars from American Muscle, Classics, European, JDM, you name it. I just think the variety and the execution of these models is better. And that's why I've gone through all of these. Now, I mean, you can see there's some great stuff here. There's obviously going to be a billion omissions. And I want to know what your list is. And um, so I want you to post on Instagram what your top five is and hashtag it. Lamley top five and then I will start sharing them so just to take a picture of your top five and then uh, post it talk about why you had them on Instagram tag Lamley top five you know hashtag l-a-m-l-e-y-t-o-p-5 and uh, and I'll share some of your choices for the uh, for the best but these are the models that didn't make it and I mean I had to I had to pull extract these out of just like every model in my collection, obviously I'm, I try and keep my collection pretty small. So in order to make it, in order to make the collection, I have to really, really like the model. There's models I like that I don't even collect, but all of these made the collection, then they made consideration. So just consider these some of the best that I think these are the best of all time. But there are five in particular, let's go ahead and put uh, the Mercedes there as well. There are five in particular now, that made my top five and let's get right to it starting with and i haven't shown these at all so there's no hint of them in any pictures or anything and maybe you're speculating right now what they're going to be but i'm going to start with one from a designer that you know i love rio asada it is the honda prelude not the cat not just the casting but this particular one a dollar general exclusive what do i love about this one I love the fact that it is this, that it's the Prelude, which I think is one of the best castings that Rio did. It's one of the best castings in basic men in, in the last few years. I love the execution with the lace wheels. I love the fact that this is a clean deco, but I really love the fact that it has kind of a color changing paint. Everything about this and that just that last level of the paint color of this particular Prelude from a 90s era, which had you know kind of crazy colors, on Hondas, Hondas were in particular love these, like that teal Civic I loved. This particular one with that color is one of my all time favorites. That's number one. I'm trying to make this, this video as quick as I can because I want to, I just want to get to the meat of it. Number two. I think one of the things that's highlighted in basics, and you'll see here that there's one, let's see, one, two, three, Am I seeing any others? At least three Ferraris. We have not, the car culture era, which has been the highlight of, of Hot Wheels in the last five, six, seven years, is the premium. The car culture, the boulevard, Fast and Furious, all of that. But I think the Ferraris are highlighted by the basics that came out in the basic range, the Ferrari five packs and everything else. So I have one other Ferrari in my top five, and it actually came from a Ferrari five pack. It is the Ferrari 288 GTO in this beautiful pearl white. I love this casting for the Hot Wheels nature of it. I like more realistic. I think this would have been better with uh, same size wheels all around, but considering this one was very Hot Wheels out with the back, with the big, thick, wide tires, 
it's cool. It's kind of, it kind of gives the nod to classic Hot Wheels, I think, and it's one that I wanted to consider in this top five, but it's all about, in this case, I like the wheels. I like the fact that it has deco on the front and on the sides and on the back, but that pearl white color, just like the Prelude, just made this particular model stand out compared to others. And it's the one Ferrari that I put in my top five. If you want to find it, you got to look for five packs, or I think I'd actually found a couple on eBay uh, sold as separate cars. All right, the third one. This one I think has become, as a casting, maybe the top most popular casting right now, surpassing the Gasser, the 510 Wagon, the 67 Camaro, it seems the most hyped model right now is the Nissan R34 GTR Skyline. But it's the original that I had to put in the top five, not because of what it's become, but for what this was. Phil Realman designed this back in, look at it, 2009. This casting is 14 years old and it has taken on a life of its own as a premium, as an RLC. But this particular first one, the JDM era had not started yet. Junamai was just putting out his Datsun 510, and Phil Reelman designed this absolute stunner of an R34, and it has been the basis for the R34's scents that have been so crazy popular among collectors. This first one in this very subtle, clean Nismo look in this really kind of understated silver. It's not thick metal flake. It's just really clean, really cool. Whether this one vanished after its first edition or became what it has become, this I think is one of the best Nissan GTR or Nissan or basics ever made. And this one has the plastic spoiler, everything. It's just so incredibly clean. So that one hits the list as well. Two more. Any American cars? No, I got one. I considered so many, in fact, this was a model that I considered putting in the top five. I always loved that, uh, that GTO with the faster than ever wheels. And I like, I like American cars in black and I chose a model in black. And this one is one that it's a casting that I like, don't love, but this particular version, I don't know can be, if it can be surpassed even with premium versions. It is the 62 custom Chevy pickup. This is the first edition. There were four colors in this deco. Um, with the surfboard that was released, I think, what year was this? Like 2000, boy, I don't even remember. Maybe 10, 2011, that same era as the, uh, as the GTR. But this version in black with the black OH5s and the orange trim and orange surfboard, I just, it is just one of the coolest looking models Hot Wheels has ever done, period. Premium, basic, anything nothing looks as good as this one does. I really do think this is the best decoed model ever done that has deco, that's not just a clean release. With those black OH5 wheels, there's just something about that one. When I say something hits different, that truck hits different. And finally, if you've seen the cover of the video, you know what the number one is, and I think this may be the number one best basic ever done. It has not gotten, it's gotten premium treatment, but it doesn't match how good the very first edition of the 180SX Type X, the Nissan 180SX, this was a big deal when it came out. This was a big deal when it was released. And when you still look at how well this casting was executed and how this particular version in, the, in this maroon red with the gold PR5s, the sleepy headlights, everything about this one, the cleanliness of the, of the casting with the color and the trim, this is the best basic ever done. If I had to pick a number one, I'd consider it among those five, but I would have to go with this one as the all-time best basic. You agree? Don't agree? You probably don't agree. I wanna know your top five, share it on Instagram. I'm gonna turn this into a whatnot giveaway. I'm gonna pick some of these models, I'm gonna get them carded, I'm gonna give them away on whatnot on March 18th, that's a Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific. Uh, more details on that to come. No, not March 18th, March 25th. I apologize. So look for that soon. Those are my top five. I cannot tell you how much I thought about this uh, and went through all these models more than once, my whole collection, to pick out the models I was going to consider and then extract a top five. I went back and forth and back and forth, but I'm happy with it. Consider this Mercedes part of it. 
You guys tell me what you think. What do you agree with? What do you not agree with? I want to know your top five. I want to give some of these away on Whatnot March 25th. I'll put a link up for you guys so you can follow that and, and prepare for that show. Let's start the debate. Thanks, everybody. Bye.